Savings. I, I think budget will, will be able to meet the budget, but I don't think there'll be necessarily significant savings <coughs> within that. Within that. But when we get closer to um, the event itself, we'll have a better feel as to how we're going with some of these some of these costs and the revenue side of things. Um, but um, I think we'll, as I say, we'll, we'll get there. But we've also got to be conscious that we, we're going to attract a, a large number of general sector corporate twenty five thousand people from offshore. So our offshore marketing engagement will not be cheap. So some of that excess, if we have some, we, we want to sort of target in a particular area. Yeah. Good. Good, thank you, Wayne. And last, Councillor. Thank you, Premier. Um, can, when you run the World Cup, you sort of set this cruise industry and say, we're turning up to that market that way, but it's still happening. Is, that, is the cruise industry at all going to play a role in and around this as the program changes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, look, good. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Um, really good, good question. Um, so we've been working with Ports of Auckland since the dates were selected, um, because obviously um, the movement of ships is incredibly important to us. Um, we are speaking to a forum of the cruise operators in about six weeks' time to make sure that they're across the detail and they understand the opportunity. I think some operators might look to um, promote the games and package up trips so that it works nicely within our period, which we would certainly be very supportive of. Um, but do we need cruise ships to deal with the accommodation numbers? No, we don't. There is sufficient accommodation today to deal with the numbers that we are, are projecting. Um, but I mean, it, it looks pretty spectacular having, having ships down there during the event time. Um, and we already know, I think during the games period, there are four ships that are already programmed to be coming in and out. Um, so that cruise season is getting longer and longer each year. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Councillor Wright. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So you don't see any conflict with, with cruise ships and, and the event organisers? Through the chair, look, we are aware of the, the challenges that the cruise industry has with events and the need to manage the, the requirements operationally that both we have as event organisers and the cruise sector does. Obviously, for us, um, we are part of the Auckland Council family, so we understand the economic benefit of having a number of cruise ships constantly coming through. So um, we've been working with you Ports of Auckland. Together. Yeah, we've been working with them Good. since day yeah. one. We feel confident. Can do it. Um, 